Hello again, uh, welcome back to episode number 31 of Travel Talk. Today's episode is our second full day in LA and I would be going on a tour of the Hollywood Homes which would take me through, uh, well, take me down, uh, Rodeo Drive in the Hollywood Hills, uh, for the Bel Air which is where all the rich and famous people live of course and um, yeah just back onto Hollywood Boulevard so it'd be quite a fun filled day, uh, get to see a lot of famous houses and um, all sorts of stuff really, so yeah, we'll dive straight into it. So uh, yeah, we were up pretty early uh, that day. The little tour bus thing wasn't actually leaving until 11, but you know, we want to get up, get showered, have some breakfast, get ourselves ready, you know. Um, so yeah, headed down to the hostel foyer as such for about half past 10, just so we were nice and ready. Unfortunately, our bus stock was supposed to be leaving at 11, it didn't actually end up leaving until just before 12 o'clock. Because on the because the day that we chose to go on this tour was ironically the hundred year anniversary of the Armenian genocide, um, so that meant it delayed our bus getting to us, but then also delayed us getting out of the hostel and going to the Hollywood Hills, which was a little bit annoying. But these things happen. Um, with with LA, obviously, there's um, little versions of every country basically. So little Armenia, which was one of the places we were driving through was pretty much rammed so it, these things happen you know you just brush it off and get on with the rest of your day but yeah our tour actually left about 12 o'clock in the end and our first like, stop would be in the Hollywood Hills um, we stopped off at a viewing point where you could kind of look out onto LA and you know see a really great view of the actual city altogether and um, so we did that spent about 15 minutes there got some really great photos jumped back on the tour bus and headed about another 10 minutes down the road, which is when we started really coming to the, you know, the main Hollywood homes, uh, the ones where the rich and famous people live, and you actually like know the people that live there, and you're like, wow, that's their home, and wow, that's such and such his home. So, so yeah, we saw uh, saw Tom Hanks' house. He's next door neighbours with Robert De Niro, which I can only imagine is the most amazing next door neighbour of all time. Um, and we saw Gwen Stefani's house which at the time she was living with Gavin Rossdale, who was then her husband, but now she's not, because now she is with the legend that is Blake Shelton. Um, then we saw Jack Nicholson's house. Jack Nicholson, ironically, had he had one house, and the two houses next to him were for sale. So he bought all three of them, so he had three houses all together, and he just combined them to make one big house, which is pretty cool. Uh, then we saw Jamie Foxx's house, Leonardo DiCaprio's house, Justin Timberlake slash Jessica Biel's house. So, yeah, that was, a, that was a really good way to start the day, you know, seeing all the famous houses. We um, we had a tour guide, his name was Armani. He was from, I think he was, I think his parents were from Saudi Arabia, but he lived in America all his life. And, um, yeah, he was he was really good. He, he kind of made it interesting. I mean, obviously, seeing everything was interesting enough, but he came out with little jokes, and he came out with, like, random facts about houses and random places. So, he made the journey really interesting or really more interesting than it could have been. Um, so yeah, we're driving along the Hollywood Hills. Uh, every car you pass is either a Porsche, Ferrari, a Lamborghini, or an Audi, or a Koenigsegg, or anything basically. All the big car brands. You, you're not going to see any Fords or like, <laughs> you know, Reliant Robins in Hollywood. Put it that way. Um, but yeah, we came down out of the Hollywood Hills and drove into Bel Air, which of course is another famous place for famous people to live. Famous place for famous people, shock it. Um, but yeah, famous people live there. And uh, as we were driving through, we saw Oliver Stone's house, which Oliver Stone's a director, if you don't know. He's uh, directed some of the greatest films of all time, so Google him. Uh, his house is just incredible. It's kind of a sandstone colour, and it's just, it's a mansion beyond words. It's it's, it's incredible. It's got 15-foot gates. It's, it's just a stunning house. He, he deserves it. He is one of the best directors ever. But, yeah, it's, just, it's an incredible house. Um, we then drove past a house, which Armani told us apparently was formerly owned by Nicolas Cage, but apparently... All of the residents of Bel Air signed a petition to get him evicted because he was having loud parties, so he no longer lives there, which is it's quite funny because I know Nicolas Cage has some problems with like, authority and the law, so I know Dog the Bounty Hunter bailed him out at one point as well, which is really strange, but you know. 
Uh, Michael Jackson rented a place there when he was preparing for his This Is It tour, and ironically, it's the place where he died. So that was kind of a bittersweet place to see. Um, but the one place you want to see when you go to Bel Air is, of course, the house that was used in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Now, I know he was born and raised in West Philadelphia, but he uh, he moved to Bel Air, and his auntie and uncle lived there, and you know. It's, uh, it's it's incredible to see it. It's exactly how it looked on the television program. It, you just you look at it, all you can think of is Will Smith and Alfonso Ribeiro doing the Tom Jones dance, and uh, it's incredible. It's it's yeah, that was like the thing for me. It was like seeing the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I love the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So uh, that's pretty cool. And um, so yeah, we did that, and then once we'd done that, we headed out of. Bella and down to Rodeo Drive, uh, which is possibly the most famous shopping district in the USA. It's uh, it, when Ralph Lauren, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Tiffany are the least expensive shops. You know it's an expensive place to shop. You know it's uh, it, it's it's incredible the amount of money that must be spent there. It's just unbelievable. Uh, we visited also at the end of Rodeo Drive the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, which is famous for being in uh, the film Pretty Woman which of course starred Julia Roberts and Richard Gere, and it's like a cult film, so everyone knows that. So uh, yeah, we went there, got some photos outside of that. We uh, we stayed in Rodeo about 45 minutes. You know, you can't really do any shopping there because I'm not a multi-millionaire. And uh, just to put it in perspective, a, a bottled water costs, I think I think it was something like $8.50 in, in Rodeo Drive, and I think a steak was $50. So yeah, not really going to spend much money there. Uh, but yeah, headed out of Rodeo Drive and on towards Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, drove past the Hollywood sign, took some photos of that. And when we hit Hollywood Boulevard, the problem was obviously we'd seen most of it the day before, so we'd done two thirds of it. But we came in Hollywood Boulevard from the end, the opposite end from when we had yesterday. So we saw a few bits that we hadn't seen. Uh, the day before, which we saw things like um, the Chateau Marmont, which is where John Belushi died. Uh, we saw the Viper Room, which Johnny Depp owned, and River Phoenix died outside of. Um, so, yeah, a bit, little bit bittersweet there, you <laughs> know, a few deaths. Um, but, yeah, we saw that, which is cool. Uh, Armani dropped us off outside the Chinese theatre and gave us 45 minutes to walk around. We had a little wonder, had a pretzel dog, um, grabbed the photo with Shrek, and then headed back to the bus to head back to the hostel. Um, we got back to the hostel about 5 o'clock, went and had some Thai food just down the road from the hostel, which was good. It cost about $30 for two meals and two starters and drinks, which is really good, really cheap. Uh, the food was massive as well, so it's always good. Uh, got back to the hostel, started looking at jobs and hostels in Australia, just because obviously our time in America was coming to an end, and I wanted to know where I was staying and what kind of jobs I could get into. So yeah, that was important to start looking at that. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much the day we headed to bed after that, really. Um, it had been a long day, seen a lot of things, seen a lot of pretty houses, saw where the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air lived, which is the most important thing entirely out of this video. I mean, screw everything else. Will Smith, that's it. The next day we planned to go to the Hollywood sign, hike up the hills and like, get a really great view of it. Uh, so we'd be doing that. And uh, yeah, that should be fun really, so I uh, look forward to that. And that'll be the next video. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, tell your friends. I'm here. And um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. See ya.